key at the cage's garage. I'm going to show you how to remove the expansion valve, the front expansion valve, on a 2014 Honda Odyssey. So there's a couple things. So inside here, your expansion valve is all the way in there. There's a 11 millimeter bolt. You take that out right from that center. I already did that. Then you got a bunch of lines. There's a line here. Uh, six sizes it. Three quarter. And what I did was I held onto the, this is like a junction block there, seven eighths. Took the two lines off. This one, this one is loose. It's not coming out for some reason. It will eventually. Then you have this other one over here. This, I had to get an adjustable wrench because I don't have the size. I don't know what tech size it is. Um, the other one, this is a 15 16th. It looks like this somehow this one stays still and this spins the nut okay whatever uh that i couldn't get out either that's still that's stuck in there pretty good oh now the whole thing's coming out so maybe once i get this whole thing out i can separate all these i just gotta uh separate them and this whole piece let's see here this will come off oh i guess i have to separate it over here to get to get this bar out I want to take this whole bar out so I can get it into the expansion valve. Luckily, this nut here is a 10. And it was just stuck on here. This, oh, this goes to, oh, you know what? This one goes to the condenser. That's why it's all loose. I have the condenser out. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. So this, so this will be all loose. See, it's coming out. I just need to get those stupid fittings off. Once I get to that point, and once I get to the expansion, I'll come back. Okay, so I got this whole deal out. I had a once I took this off, so I was able to wiggle this, and it came off. I need to get to that ex the expansion valve that's in there. So there's some kind of clip right here. Let's see if this comes off. This clip needs to come off. Okay. All right, I gotta figure out how to do that, and then I have to see how, maybe I just pull a little expansion valve. No, I can't. Okay, well, I got the clip out. I pretty much destroyed it. Um, there's like a piece missing right here. I pried it with a screwdriver in there, and then pulled it with some pliers. Stupid me, I forgot there's a, um, there's Allen keys inside here in these holes right here that you have to take out. It's a number four. So I think if I would have taken that out, maybe the whole thing would have popped out. I don't know. But I'm going to see if... I'm going to see if I can get another one of those clips. I don't know how important that is. They put it in there for a reason, right? So, oh, I don't know. So anyway, I'm, I'm taking out these um, Allens and then the expansion valves come right out. I figure out how to get this thing out. Maybe if I take this out and go like this maybe. There we go. All right, now what? I don't know. I saw one guy do it online, and he uh, took the whole bo bottom of the dash out to get this thing out. So I, I don't want to do that. And I saw another one, they were able to pull it out here. So this is the way I'm going to try to do it. If you look online, or all data or whatever, they say take the whole bottom of the dash part. I am not doing that. It's almost there. All right, let me mess with this and see if we can get it out. Okay. I got this darn thing out. If you can see in there, there's the two two uh two pipes that goes to the evaporator. 
there's two o-rings on there i'm going to try to take those two o-rings off and replace them i'm a little concerned that they're all black i don't know why they're black o-rings instead of uh green but whatever um the way i got this out was obviously i took out these two allen bolts it was mounted in like this i pried it this way and got this out and once this came out and i had to pull it out first to get it out of those hoses on the other side but um as soon as i did that i was able to pry it this way clear the firewall and then pull it out um it doesn't look that bad i don't see i was expecting to see some like black goop in here i don't see anything so i don't know anyway i have a new one i'm gonna replace it but that's how you get it out like that pull it out getting a new expansion valve in i changed the o-rings on that evaporator side i also put some oil on the o-rings and then inside the the cavity here and i took it and i just slid it in this way and now I'm just pushing it on to those connectors back there. Oh yeah, I could feel it. All right, we're good. It's on. And then there's two Allen keys, the bolts that go right there. Okay, I was having trouble getting these Allen keys in. Allen keys go here and they hold the expansion valve in. Well. This is probably why they tell you to take the hole underneath the dash part. There's this piece here is loose now. So this is loose and it got pushed all the way in. And that has the threads in it. So I just pulled it forward. I'm going to try again. <laughs> put the expansion valve in not hit that piece I don't know how I'm gonna do that and then try to thread it in but that's why I couldn't get the that's why the the uh, screws weren't hitting I don't know if there's something behind it that is not holding it anymore or what but that's what's going on so I'm gonna try again get the expansion valve in I can, now I got that I have it out again I can show what I did, I'm going like this. Going like this. Goes in. I'm trying to push it nice and gentle. I don't want to push that bar back now. Put the Allen keys in. Hopefully, hopefully it will catch the threads on that thing, and I'll be able to. All right, I'm gonna do that. All right, that's how you do the uh, expansion valve on a Honda Odyssey without yanking out the hole underneath the dash. Um, you might get some wounds it's part of the job I guess it's these things that got me so if I put gloves on maybe the, you know I would have avoided that anyway thanks a lot keep watching there's more work on this thing appreciate uh, all your uh, subscriptions and likes and and all that stuff Let's talk to you later see you in the next video